Hi guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hello, my name is Kathleen. I make planning and organization videos and I also really love home decor, DIYs, thrifting, fashion, all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, um, please subscribe. I make videos every week. Um, today's video is going to be my current planner lineup. I'm going to go through every single planner that I purchased this year and my thoughts on them and give you kind of like a mini review on each of them. So let's get started. This is the planner that I started with this year. It's a traveler's notebook. It's not the original Midori brand, I think is what it's called. Um, it's a more affordable version of it that I found on Amazon and I decided to go with this one because I didn't want to splurge on something that I wasn't sure if I was going to really like and I'm glad that I did it this way because this one is still really good quality and for the price I think it's a really great deal. It has held up quite nicely but I haven't been using it as much as I had planned to when I bought it. As you can see, I haven't filled it up. There are a lot of empty pockets and folders and a lot of the pages are blank too. So the main purpose I got this for was for memory keeping. I did some scrapbooking and journaling in January and February. I do have videos on that on my channel. Um, but I didn't continue with it because March came around and the whole thing with the coronavirus happened and yeah, we're still staying at home most of the time so I haven't been inspired to really do anything in here. I have continued to set it up every month which I have been really enjoying since I ended up purchasing a whole new planner I intended to use this one as more of a journal so if I ever thought of writing something down or writing down a quote or a memory um, that's what I wanted to use this for but to be honest I don't really open this up um, maybe once a week or so um, so I don't know if I'll continue with it but I do recommend it it's a really great deal and I really love the style of planning in this. Next up I have my nude leather six ring A5 agenda by cloth and paper. I purchased this one in February for my birthday. I got the planner, all the inserts, a bunch of stickers and I set it all up and I was so excited. Mine is looking kind of empty because I just cleaned it out but I love this planner so much and I just love how customizable it is you can use whatever inserts you want I've been enjoying making my own uh, making my own stickers and decorating however I want to so I have been really enjoying it so far since I have been using my traveler's notebook as my memory keeping journal this planner I use for everything else I use it as my work planner my personal planner my goal planner I use it for keeping track of my eBay business my bills and yeah just everything the size is way more than what I need my planning style is very minimal and I honestly don't have a very hectic busy schedule working from home so I'm not sure if I'll continue to use this but I really do love it I think cloth and paper is a really great brand their products are really good quality um, their customer service is amazing which I really appreciate and yeah I just love the aesthetic and their look and I love everything that they come out with so I do recommend uh, this planner if you're interested they have other sizes and yeah those are my thoughts on this planner 
This is what it's looking like now after a couple months of using it. It has gotten a little bit dirty. It's fine though, I just wipe it down. Um, and a lot of the inserts I use are from Infinite Lotus and Elmon Paper Co. And I also like to make my own. So yeah, that's what I've been using this planner for and I really like it. This one I am for sure going to keep and I'm going to continue to use. It's my Louis Vuitton PM Agenda and I am obsessed. I use it as a wallet and as an on-the-go planner. I'll show you what I keep inside and I'll talk about what I use it for. Um, but this is what the outside looks like. So I keep my cards and my IDs there in the pockets. I just take them out when I am filming a video. I have a video setting this up um, if you want to see exactly what's inside. But all of my accessories I got from cloth and paper and all of my inserts I got from Infinite Lotus. I love the way that I set it up and I really like using it as a wallet. Um, because the rings are so tiny, I can't fit much planning inserts in there. I have a couple dividers, um, some dashboards, a few pockets, and then just a few inserts. I have my calendar insert, um, and then I think maybe two or three additional inserts. For planning, I usually will use this if I need to keep a to-do list with me. It's usually when I'm out running errands, I like to have a list of all the places I need to go to, um, if I have any appointments, or if I need to make any returns, or go anywhere that I need to remember. Um, I keep that in here, and then I also usually keep a shopping list in here as well. These pockets are empty. I keep my cards in there. I just took those out for the video. Um, and then in the last pocket, I have all my stamp cards, gift cards, um, business cards, things like that. So that's what I use this for. And I am for sure not getting rid of this planner. I love it so much. So that's it for this video. I hope this explains why I have multiple planners and what I use them for. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram for more planner inspiration and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!